Yeah. This is the first touch of the uh, LK brush from Isabel. Look at that. You'll have the first live reaction. Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's just, it gives me that, uh, that distance for a softer touch. Oh, this is exciting. I'm stoked. Wow. So limited edition right now. For now. Yes, yes, we did only 50. This is the first of the 50. All right, cool. So what do you like about this? What makes it so different for you? No, okay, so the other ones I have here and it's um they're smaller well that's the that's the Raphael i got actually yeah. in uh in spain i buy brushes wherever i can around the world oh no here, here's the other one so just uh the distance right here so i like i like it thinner the thinner uh stock for the the barrel the handle yeah and then um the distance of the hairs this one's been worn down a lot uh on this painting but then i also like that uh having this distance so I don't have to hold, this is um, limiting in how much pressure I can get and you're almost holding it too much like a pencil. This I can get back and I can get softer effects. I can yeah. like. But that's interesting how you always almost just like the uh, 6 to 7 which is more of a watercolor brush. The shape of the hair yeah. it used to be more designed for watercolor but there's something about that shape that that you like that works for you right yeah yeah you know what it is is that the give that the brush has is is nice because it, you can get again I, I like the brush because it gives me that soft uh fluid kind of motion here where i can hatch or soften an edge which is kind of nice so I use two different types of brushes. I use uh, bristle brushes in the beginning to get like an initial texture down. And then I'll go over with a softer brush. This is a bay brush to soften the edges in the transitions. And, and having the brush be, I've been wanting a long handled brush like this for the last probably 10 years. <laughs> I know, so, we've heard about that. So, so it's, finally, uh, it's been a search. Yeah, it's been finally amazing. we did it. Thank you. All right, so well, congratulations. And then I move to David. David again, so tell me about the those vermilion? red, the vermilion red. Yeah, the the, uh, red. Is it, oh, it's Sennelier Rouge. No, it's yeah. just super strong. It's, uh, it's very chromatic and uh, it works just as well as a, as a regular vermilion would. And uh, I like it because of the intensity and the purity of the color. All right.